all right welcome back to this wonderful channel i'm about to bring you trending news about Maze simon eba one joko <laughs> you don't shall uh, we will go straight to the information make a new country to waste your time as this time uh, in a video shared on sunday via his social media and twitter simon eba a prominent biafra agitator and Prime Minister of the Biafra Republic government in exile has declared that the absolves Nandi Kano, the leader of the indigenous people of Biafra, from any action carried out by Biafrans. The video comes in the wake of reports suggesting that Nandi Kano had directed Eba to halt criticism of Southeast governors. However, Eba vehemently refuted the authenticity of the letter, branding it as fake. And the work of mischief makers who do not genuinely support the cause of Biafra liberation. In his impassioned address, Eba stressed the importance of ensuring the safety of their leader, Nam the Kano. He stated, The reason for us not taking orders from the DSS dungeon anymore is to safeguard our leader. We want our leader to be safe, we want to forgive our leader. For anything that Biafrans will be doing for his own best interest. Simon Eba further emphasized that any actions taken by Biafrans in their request in their quest for freedom should not be associated with Nam the Kano. He urged that Biafra, Biafra's action and struggles for liberation, the freedom of Nam the Kano, and all prisoners of conscience should not be linked directly to the IPOB leader. The Finland-based lawyer and Biafra agitator retreated his call for the release of Nam the Kano, underscoring that his freedom would contribute to lasting peace in Southeast region. Uh, this is what is happening right now. Uh, Marcy Simon ever don't drop this bombshell. See, as they be say it gets some keep keep things where we say it go happen. May they no go they carry uh, Marcy Nam the Kano name they put for them. Uh, see some things will be say go to happen now. Uh, no be Mazen and the Kano uh, and I they give the orders because they themselves uh, will be the members of the Biafra Republic government in exile. Uh, they say they no go to uh, fully follow orders with Mazen and the Kano they give from that DSS detention. According to him, he said that some orders that may be given to him could be because he is under threat. And according to him, he said that they will be flouting some of his orders in order to make sure that the Biafra landing is safe and him, Mazen and the Kano, is safe also. Uh, as you can see that, meanwhile, as it be, um, former Central Bank of Nigeria Governor Godwin MFL has threatened to take legal action against Senate President Godwin Goswil Ababio for what he alleges is defamation. Ababio, speaking as Senate, Senate Barinada, Biggest Thanksgiving service in Kuruma, Thai local government area, Liver State, on February 18th, made remarks suggesting that MFLS administration had contributed to the Nigeria's economic challenges under President Bola Tinubu. In response, MFLS, through his legal res representative Matthew Buka San, issued a letter to Ababio demanding a written apology published in media or face lawsuit. Um, even I say for this country, they say making nobody do the talk again, make people know they talk through. Uh, because once you talk, uh, they go say an nah, apology letter. Meanwhile, uh, the past economy has really affected this nation, and the present economy uh, is doing their best to make it worse. Uh, because as it is, prices of things, uh, prices of things are skyrocketing every day. Things are getting hard every day as it be professionals reject government plan to establish cattle ranch remember say waiting they sub for any state now katakata will be say a day uh, between the government uh, and uh, and uh, any good state people now now because say uh, they want build ranch for cattle for that side and the people will be say the day for the but don't talk say um they themselves don't want cattle ranch say met government Say originally the Fulani people don't they oppress people where they no get cattle ranch. Say what if now uh, they can't give them cattle ranch there? They come multiply uh, among the people and start uh, and start disturbing them more than they have disturbed. And the people are of the opinion 
uh, that these Fulanis like grabbing things that are not their own, uh, according to the history of their father, Usman Danfodio, uh, people uh, ought, uh, somehow believe that uh, the Fulanis are actually chasing a different mission. Uh, their mission is to make sure that they occupy and take control. As it be, uh, the, uh, the information where they drop now, they say Igbos are fed up with Nigeria, won't join hardship protests. And uh, the indigenous people of Biafra, they talk this one. Uh, they say Ndi Igbo don't fed up with waiting the Nigeria. Say they no go fit join that protest uh, where everybody they protest make um, make things do. Okay, as it be, Nigeria Pat Harcourt line renewal restarts. Uh, the railway will be say day for Pataco, they don't they start to the renew. And my own, I can't they ask why if you say, um, this kind of no fit come for the southeastern part of Nigeria. And no, we say railway no pass here. Uh, there are a lot of places railway passed. The only thing is just to do a reconstruction. Uh, if you go to Aba, that Aba side railway pass, if you go inside the Enugu, Aba Kleke, all those places, even inside Anambra. Somewhere railway pass there, and the question is, why will the government not revitalize some of these railways again? You see, only in the north, the 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 west, and the south, uh, south, uh, that these railways are going to be working. Uh, you can see the partiality that is there in this government of a team, where some people are sidelined by the side. Uh, whatever that is happening uh, among the federal elite does not uh, come to them. Uh, whatever that is released in the federal air angle does not really reach to Ndibo. And my question is, what are the senators doing? The senators uh, that have been voted to represent their uh, their uh, various constituencies, and my my because their work is to speak on behalf of their constituency in order to be able to achieve what has not been achieved in their constituency, and look at what is happening to Igbo senators who are there. And better things are going to other constituencies, other geopolitical zone. And look at the southeast geopolitical zone. Nothing good is coming this side. And this thing keeps me wondering. I'm wondering if the, uh, the southeast politicians, whether they don't know what they are doing, or maybe, you know, something like that. As it be, as of today, despite FG's clap down, dollar hits 1,900 naira. White pound is 2,000. 250 naira. <laughs> so if you owe one dollar now, wait till you owe for your hand now 1,900. If you owe hundred dollar, uh, wait till you owe for your hand now 190,000. One nigga or another show back whoa. <laughs> if you owe hundred dollar now 190,000 in your hand, nigga or another show back whoa machine ke o. Masho nini mege o, onini mege, onini mege, onini mege, 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 mege. Robo da chara loko. Um, obu na, ndi ba es na, nezi o mume nanya ne buni mba. Eh, mana, ajo mume bualo. The IG of police don't want to, he say stop using my name to extort Nigerians. IGP wants officers. <laughs> Officers don't they use uh, IGP then to collect money from Nigerians? Now the man come find out, come the para say, officers that thing where we say when they do, uh, make una stop them, make una stop them. The man say he had no day. Say these people just they use them to collect money from backyard uh, from Nigerians. I see they be Anambra police raid insurgent camp, recover vehicle, arms. Ose Tiela, you don't show the Anambra State Joint Security Task Force has bought an insurgent camp in Achala, the headquarters of Okanot local government area of the state. The operation was ordered by the State Commissioner of Police, Aderemi Adeoye. This was disclosed in a press statement issued by the State Police Spokesperson, DSP Tochiku Ikenga, on Tuesday. Ikenga added that the hoodlums had disrupted trading at Achala Market the previous Monday, forcing traders to observe a seat at home. He said this draw the attention of security apparatus in the state, which made the state police command to decide on giving them a taste of their own medicine in the early hours of Monday, February 19, 2024. The hugely successful operation led to the recovery of five exotic vehicles previously snatched at gunpoint. Also recovered were over 300 rounds of machine gun ammunition and 34 rounds of 7.6 mm ammunition for 
AK-47 rifle. Uh, this one, uh, the one where we say they happen for Achala right now. They say now for Achala, this one they happen. Uh, if you see this gun, you're going to say, uh, if you like seeing a gun, we'll be still done better for ground since uh, the thing they old. But now they know what they talk. Uh, now the police people will be saying they go there. Now, now they feel, tell us how the matter it take happen. Uh, because this is uh, now waiting they call investigation. Breaking Nigerian Customs Service to distribute confiscated food item nationwide over Sashib. What say it? The custom is now all on the man. Uh, the thing no be to announce to share um, not to see when this thing is going to reach to the end of the masses uh, because all these things they are doing uh, is um st goes back to the hand of the rich the custom will auction cars those cars is in the hand of the rich this uh, the government will bring out palliative palliative ends up in the ha hands of the rich the poor people who these things are meant for don't get to get it i say which way obodo we be said they call Niger, waiting on they do. Make a dub real here. And if now your first time of joining us on this wonderful channel, kindly go ahead and subscribe, like, comment, share. And also remember to all your notification buttons so that whenever our news drop, you'll be the first one collector. Thank you for listening.